Hey, good morning to everybody. Happy Thursday. It's Daryl here. It is bright and freaking early, man. It's 3 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. I don't even know what to say at this point, really. Uh, you know, I'm almost worried that it's going to start looking like I have nothing else to post but Bam Margera videos. Um, also, this is starting to look, honestly, this is starting to look like watching a train wreck in slow motion. I, I seriously, that's what I feel like now. It's once again, it's Van Margera and uh, I don't know, the third or fourth ranting video in almost as many days in the last week. Yeah, and another one. This is another thing I started to get concerned about. He, he's doing so many of these ranting videos that it's getting hard. Like when I talk about them, it's getting hard to discern one from another. You know, I'm starting to get worried that you guys are going to see a new video that I did and think it's one of the old videos. Um, yeah, so he's on there ranting again. I, I I just want to talk about this a little bit. Uh, you know, like they say, I don't think it's a matter of if Bam relapses. Now, I think it's a matter of when. And I don't say that lightly. You know, I don't know a lot. You know, I talk about Bam just because I got to know him through you guys, through doing these videos. I didn't watch the Jackass movies. Uh, the reason I, I got so into him is because he's in recovery. I, I want to see somebody else succeed. Uh, the last 17 and a half years have been the best of my life. I'm, o I'm over 58 years old. And like I said in other videos, I'm not rich. I'm not, I, don't get, I don't make a lot of money. I don't have a fancy car. I got a little Honda Fit that's like 10 years old. I don't have a girlfriend at this point. I don't have any kids. Uh, you, know, you know, my life's not perfect by any means. But I am happy. You know, I'm happy and I've learned to deal with. I've learned to take accountability and I've learned to deal with life's problems. I said this before. When I first got clean and sober, I, I hit this patch. When I first got clean and sober, I, I thought that everything was going to be great. You know, I thought, I thought you know, my life was going to be relatively trouble-free because now I'm telling the truth. I'm paying my bills. I'm doing everything. You know, I'm following the rules of life. Uh, you know, and everything should be relatively trouble-free. And it was nowhere near that. You know, I, I, I then I realized that other people, if I, even though I'm telling the truth, other people are still lying. Other people are still doing things that screw up. So now instead of me screwing up and lying, it's other people doing that and me catching the flack for it. It's almost like karma, you know, and uh, I, I was a little disturbed about this at first. You know, I was thinking that, you know, I thought my life was going to be perfect. I'm following all the rules. I'm living right. And, you know, why isn't my life, you know, trouble free? You know, and I came to the I, I came to the realization that people are going to <laughs> to do what they're going to do. They're going to say, you know, you're going to get screwed over. Bad things are going to happen to you. That's just, you know, nobody said life is going to be fair. I hate when people say, uh, you know, that's not fair. You know, there was no rule book when you were born. You know, what's fair and what's not fair. You know, there's nothing fair. Uh, all right, so let me get into this. I I don't even know if I should talk about the content. Uh, about I'm talking about what he's he's it's getting hard to even tell what he's ranting about. He's ranting about his manager, uh, not his manager. I I don't even know at this point. Stephen Donnelly, somebody that collected money for shows that Bam was going to do. I got a question. You know, he's not skateboarding because of his ACL. So what does he do in a show? You know, what does this show consist of? Uh, so he's all upset and he's ranting about money and this guy, Stephen Donnelly, taking his money. And then he starts ranting about some other guy taking his money before and going to Disney World and getting and Once again, he brings up the 5150 thing again and he's just going off on a rant. This is another thing. I, 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 uh, uh, <laughs> there, there's so many, so many stupid things he's doing in, in, in this video. The, the thing that comes, the first thing that comes to mind is discussing business and money on a social media platform where hundreds of thousands of people are watching and you're discussing your personal business and, and money transactions. I, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not a rich, famous guy or anything, but I would never even think of discussing my finances or financial dealings on a social media. That's not where you go to, to, to complain or to, to find your way through these problems. Um, okay, so here's another thing. So in this video, he's contradicting himself on top of everything else. Uh, he, he's in, in the video before last, one before last, 
the one where he had it was that red light was behind him and he was drinking the mint tea. He was saying how Stephen Donnelly is a good guy. I don't know who Stephen Donnelly is, and I really don't care. But in that video, he's saying how Stephen Donnelly is a good guy and that he was refunding money, torn ACL, blah 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 blah. In this video now, he's he's ranting about Steve Donnelly not not giving back this money, and it's a total you know turn. He's contradicting himself. I read the comments, and the comments are brutal at this point. It's just, you know, every, everybody's pretty much saying the same thing. You know, where's the accountability? I saw one comment that said, you know, the only other person that blames everybody else more than Bam Margera is Donald Trump. And I, I kind of agree with that. You know, once you get into, when you get clean and sober, when you get into recovery, you learn to take accountability, you, you know, you take you you take responsibility for things in your life. And the other thing I've talked about this before, um, you know, it, it's all about I don't want to bore you guys with this the serenity prayer, but there's a reason for this. You know, you can't change what other people are going to do. There's no point in worrying and getting all frustrated or going on Instagram and ranting about other people. You know, people are going to do what they're going to do. The only thing you can change is the way that you respond to them. And obviously, Bam is not responding very well. Uh, you know, getting on here and ranting about it. Like I said, I, I the more I see these, there there was the uh, there was the argument with the girlfriend over the sticky gum. There was the fist fight, and now there's been three ranting videos in almost as many days. You know, and they're all angry. Bam, Bam, angry. It's angry at the world. You know, and this just this this like I said, it's not a matter of if at this point, it's a matter of when. Another thing I want to talk about, like I I still go to NA and AA for the longest time during COVID. Uh, we couldn't go to meetings. It was or there was they were on the computer, which is not the same. And I've gone to a lot of meetings, hundreds of meetings, and I actually got voted to to chair meetings. I actually chaired. I sat up in front of a big meeting here in Connecticut, why at Waterbury Hospital in Connecticut, and uh, you know, and I I ran the meeting for. They voted for me to do it for. I think it was about five months, you know, and I was terrified of doing this at first. There was a good sixty people in the room, you know, and I I, I organized the meeting and went through the order of how we do things and getting people to talk and everything, and it was so cool. It's one of the things that that built my self esteem back. But the reason for these meetings, you could tell that Bam isn't doing the work, as they say. He's not following the steps. He's not doing the work. He's not going to meetings. Because when you go to meetings, you hear other people, you know, and other people comment. Like, if if Bam was going to meetings, he, he'd be able to talk this stuff out at the meetings. And other people would be able to give him feedback on this. this that's the purpose, to get feedback on how to deal with life's issues when you go to these meetings from other people that have gone through these things um the anger like i say it's just it's not a matter of if it's just a matter of when the thing that keep one of the things that keeps me from using you know i i still get tempted it's been over 17 and a half years and there's a lot of reasons like uh, the, my my physical shape the physical shape i'm in now i respect my body a lot more and, you know, before I, you know, like now I'll get, you know, the ideal will go through my head about using. But now I, I don't want to cause harm to my, you know, to my heart, to my, my brain. You know, I've worked over the last 17 and a half years every day to, to rebuild myself, working out, and reading and getting clean. And I feel so good. And that's one of the first things that I think of, you know, when I when I get the these these thoughts or these urges to use is, you know, I don't want to do harm. You know, I, I don't want to do that damage to myself. But uh, one of the big things that it, reasons I, I don't use, and you need to have these things in your life or you will relapse, is that I'm happy. I, I tell you guys that. And, you know, I wake up every day and I am truly happy. You know, after going through two decades of pure hell, of pure hell, waking up every morning, and, and having to get money, having to get my drugs, or, I, or else I'd get deathly sick, you know, and being having people uh, after me for money, having my family all angry, at, you know, going through this stuff every day, it was a living hell, you know, and now it's like being, it's like getting a, a new life, it's like being reborn, you know, and I am so thankful for every day, 
you know, and like I said, besides for that, I, I realize that people are going to, you know, there's going to be bad things that are going to happen to me. Nobody said this life's going to be fair, you know, and I don't get angry about it. I, I just, the only thing I can control is that, is how I respond to that. You know, the people are going to do whatever they're going to do. You know, like he's ranting about people taking his money. Well, you know, it's kind of his fault because, you know, he should maybe he should have done his homework before he trusted this guy to handle his money in the first place. Again, it's about taking responsibility. It's not all everybody else's fault. It usually comes back to, you know, to the person, to, to bam, to the person. Um, but like I was saying, with him being angry like this every single day, he doesn't have that that joy that I, I it sounds corny when I say that, but that happiness, the happiness that I have every day. So when I there's days where I think about using, where I get tempted, the thing that comes in my head is why would I why would I use today? Why 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 would I take anything? Why would I want to change the way I feel today? You know, I feel I I really feel good today. I am happy. Uh, I feel healthy mentally, physically, emotionally. I am happy. So why would I take anything that would change that? You know, the only thing that those those things would do would make me less happy or angry. You know, so I mean, that's a big factor in me not using is being able to to accept life and take responsibility and stop and smell the flowers and enjoy this life around me. You know, if I was going through life like, bam, angry every day, I would have relapsed by now. There's no doubt I would have relapsed by now. And that's, it's, it's not just talk. You have to do the work. You have to do the steps. You go to meetings. Take responsibility. Like I said, you know, a lot of this, bam, complaining about, you know, who tore his ACL? He, he did it. You know, and he was probably showing off for the camera. In his head, he probably knows this. You know, he got hurt. That was his fault. He can't do shows now. That's his fault. That's his fault. Uh, this guy is supposedly canceling the shows and taking his money. He's Bam's the one that hired him. He's the one that trusted him in the first place. You know, it all comes back to him. He has to take responsibility for this instead of just blaming everybody else and whining and crying and being angry every single day about how everybody else is ruining his life. That is a surefire recipe. And I hate to say this. I hate to see anyone on the verge of relapse, but I, I truly believe, you know, at this point, I, I don't see how anything else, I mean, something, something's got to change. This can't, this can't keep up. You know, this, it's been almost what, it's been a week and he's been on here ranting almost every day. And this just, it's just, when somebody's in, uh, and it has an addiction problem, this just, it won't, there's going to be a, something's going to happen. You know, it's, it's going to go one way or the other, either, either he's going to realize and, start going to meetings and kind of disappear from social media and get his stuff together, which I highly doubt, or he's going to relapse. Because at this point, with this, the way he, the way that he's living his life at this point, you know, I, I, I don't see any other possibility for him. He certainly doesn't look happy. He certainly like, doesn't look like he's found serenity. He doesn't look like he's accepted responsibility for anything. Um, and it, that's sad. That's too bad. I mean, I, I, other people, like when I see this, I, the best I could do is, is learn from this. When you see other people screwing up and I think Bam is screwing up big time. All right. Let me know what you think. The link to that, the, the, this latest rant will be down below along with all the other ones. I'll be back later with another video. You guys recovery is possible. I'm clean and sober 17 and a half years. Have a good Thursday.